Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my LB20, the show New York Mets franchise. This is episode 13 and here we for this June 17th game against the Chicago Cubs. Uh, they are 40 and 33 right now and we're going to try to tie things up. They won the first game of the series 1-6. to six. Uh, Syndergaard unfortunately got a 6 loss of the year. Now we have Marcus Stroman who's 7-2 and two with a 3.89 ERA trying to get his 8th win against Alec Mills. Uh, we're going to be playing in Chicago for a 7 o'clock game, so let's get this dub. Mind to the right side. Be, oh dive, my god. Right, but he can't haul it in, and now this is going to be big trouble out there. There's going to be three runs for Javi Baez. That's a triple after that missed oh, dive. This thing was that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And this oh, is going to be another run. And it's in time. 3 0 here in the first inning. That's a shot by Conforto, and it's going to be off the wall. It's going to be a stand up double for Michael Conforto as he makes it safely to second base. Michael Conforto continues his hot streak. Yeah, Matt, you so batting four seven for the past five games, so this is another base hit to raise that average close to 300. Yeah, it's a double play ball. There you go, nice double play for Stroman. That ends the fourth. Still nothing for the Mets. There you go, it's Dominic Smith putting the Mets on the board, and that is out of here off the scoreboard. That is a solo shot, number 11, for Dominic Smith. Estimated 443 feet if the scoreboard wasn't there. Absolutely crushed that hanging ball. And maybe the Mets will start to chip away the lead like they usually do. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light up. The 2-2, one more time. Now a swing and a deep drive. Hung that slider in there, man. It makes things four to one here in the fifth inning. One and two now. Right. One and two to Schwarber. This is a very far slider. Goes in for the bullpen and gets that strikeout. One out. Thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect. That is a home run for Jeff McNeil. Big things four to two. That's number 16 of the year going left center field. It's going 392 feet. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. That's Conforto hitting to deep center field. Chasing the center fielder back, and it's out of here. That makes things three to four. Michael Conforto, number 17 of the year going dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Mike Conforto kind of making now. up for that really bad play in right field. They gave two runs. And the triple. Making things three to four here in the eighth inning. That's a base hit. But Donald Smith is going to be at least a double. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's going to be safe at second. And he'll make it to second base now. That is a standard double for Dominic Smith. It's eight doubles a year. Kind of that is a shot, shot by Wilson Ramos, and it's and foul. just so it foul. Oh, my gosh, just a little early. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. strikes out Hayward. Hayward. Wow. Lugo strikes out Nemo. And the Cubbies win. Three to four. That stupid dive that I made with the four basically gave the game away for them. They put up the three runs in the first inning. That was really it. 
just never really recovered from that. We did have 11 hits and we just left everybody on base. So that was a problem. We had the base hits, we just couldn't execute the runs in. What are you gonna do? Uh, Seth Lugo, who I traded to get Winkler, actually ended up getting the save, so it kind of bit us in the butt. But Hernan Perez is the player of the game, 2 for 4 with a uh, home run. <clears throat> Okay, so we lose the series against the Cubbies, and we're gonna have, who is this, I can't even see. We got Steven Matz on the mound next. We're gonna be facing San Fran for the second game of the series, and we're gonna fast forward through. We lost to the Phillies, lost to the Phillies, oh my gosh. And we beat the Phillies, there you go, but we lost the series anyway. So now we got Pete Alonso up, who hit two home runs apparently already today, and the Mets are up nine to seven. Jeff McNeil on base, and the Mets win nine to seven. Uh, let's see, Scarborough is over there. Eh. Okay, so now the Mets are fifty and twenty-eight. The Mets lost one, two, three, three games out of five. What was that? Three games. Hold on. I'm having brain fart. Three games out of six, so they went 500 this little episode. So we're going to try to get a 51st win against the 25 and 53 uh, Giants. We're going to be in San Fran. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the standings here. We're still four games above the Marlins. Uh, let's take a look at the awards race. Pete Alonso is actually in the lead. With 33 home runs, 66 RBIs, 294 average. Jacob DeGrom still up there with a 9-3 uh, record with a 4, wow, 4.27. That's high for DeGrom. Uh, with 120 strikeouts. So far he's keeping up his, uh, his three-peat. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB The Show, New York Mets franchise. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already. And if you guys haven't followed me on Facebook... I'm trying to do the whole Facebook gaming thing where I stream on there. Um, so find me on Facebook.com slash RemTV1. Uh, it's actually in the beginning splash of my uh, videos. So don't forget to try to follow that if you're on Facebook. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day. Take it easy. And peace.